Hey everybody, I'm Elizabeth Bowers, Advancement Communications Director at the Ann Springs Close Greenway. I'm here with Josh Patterson, our Resource Director, and behind us you can see the total devastation, collapse of our road bridge um, that connected the Adventure Road and Blue Star entrances of our property. So the Greenway opened in 95. The bridge wasn't accessed until around 98. The new road bridge behind us went in and then we were given access. This bridge was handed over to us to use for our trail access. Um, and it was really a main thoroughfare to get us from one side of the property to the other. This is a major conduit for our bike and hike trails over here. It connects the Adventure Road and Blue Star entrances of the property. Um, the bridge is about 50 years old, but uh, just a couple of years ago, we did some renovations on the bridge, right? Yes, um, just under two years ago, we had several piles replaced underneath that had failed. And after several heavy rains, a lot of material pushed up against it, causing a lot of pressure against the piles. Um, and that's what caused them to eventually fail. This is a culmination of a couple of different rain events. We had the rain several weeks ago where we had about four inches of rain just in those couple of hours. And we knew that we had lost three pilings then. Um, so the, the bridge had been closed since that time. We were kind of instructed it was not safe to be under to remove the material underneath. So we were contracting out that work. We were set to meet with Lee Construction to um, remove the material from underneath the bridge and the bridge failed in the morning. We, we met with them at two in the afternoon. Wow. We have these regions that have grown rapidly you know, huge amounts of construction. Our, our, you know, Catawba River Basin is widespread. So we're talking about everything that's happened from Mooresville down. Um, and, and certainly, even as this immediate area has grown, you know, our ability to manage all of the stormwater that we receive during these rain events is, has changed a lot. It's literally changing the way that the banks look and how the water is received. And, and it has to go somewhere. People have already reached out asking how they can support us, if we'll have volunteer opportunities. Right now this area is not safe for visitors, so we've cordoned it off and we really encourage you not to access the bridge um, at this time. But the, the main thing you can do right now is to support us, is to go online and donate and to show us your support through your membership and through your donations because that it's the wonderful thing about being a private nonprofit is that we get to make the decision here and I know that we will make a great one and it will be in the best interest of this asset, but we have to figure out how to fundraise for it and how to make that possible too. So, um, Josh, thank you for your time and for letting the people in on what's going on here. I know it's, it's not every day that we have a bridge collapse, certainly on the Greenway, and we wanted to take a minute and really talk about it and what it means to the property at large. So thank you.